Hey YouTubers, it's Rainbow. I know it's monstrously late. Well, not monstrous, it's like 12.30. But I figured I might as well post a late night rant because it's fun. So now I'm going to be talking about Adult Swim. Just to say a few words about it. They're, they're kind of like basically, they're like Hard to Network in the sense that they don't have an awesome show. In terms of their Saturday night anime, that's, that's what I'm referring to, just so you know. Um, I feel that they need to clean their slate, basically, except for, of course, Bleach, I guess, which is the only thing actually showing new episodes. And I found out there that at the end of the month, in Japan at least, the anime is ending, which is ah, kind of be expected because it's such a long anime. But that said, it's still the newest anime still premiering um, on Adult Swim anyway in America as well. But besides that, the rest of that, from 12.30 to, like, whatever Adult Swim ends, they're showing nothing but reruns of old animes. And it's, like, it's disappointing because they, they really need something that's going to be great. It's, like, you can look back on, you can look on YouTube itself and look up old promos for anime that Adult Swim used to show, like Death Note and Let's Cry Ed. And, like, all this other, like, awesome animes. Everyone's like, oh, my God, this is, like, a freaking classic now. I mean, it's like they don't show those animes again because they lost their rights to them. And it's disappointing because those are a lot of good animes that they lost, you know? And it's like they, I feel like they, they, just, they just need new stuff. Durarara was their last newest edition. And that, that one, well, sorry, Fullman Alchemist. <laughs> that anime was... It was. It wasn't. Didn't seem like something that would be on Adult Swim because Durarara was very slow paced, extremely character driven, and it's like Adult Swim doesn't really show animes like that that rely so like heavily on characters. It's like more like action, action, maybe some character development and action, but Durarara I would say was too slow paced. It wasn't actiony enough, and it was all like actually quite surprising to see that it was on there. It's like why is this anime on here? Durarara is not like in that Adult Swim format, basically, where people are gonna wanna watch it because some people would find it completely boring, which is understandable because it was, there wasn't like, like all the action that is usually applied to you with a majority of Adult Swim animes. Continuing on with it, that's basically what I say and how I feel about Adult Swim. It, it needs a complete, just, just needs a reboot. Bleach can stay on because it can but the animes that have been rerunning again and again and again, like, they're just putting that, like, in that, like, doing that. Gosh, like, showing Inuyasha remits again and again and again. Though I'm still watching it because I never watched it. It's a, it, it doesn't have to be in there, you know? They can get rid of that. Not to say that the animes that they're still showing right now aren't good, you know? Ghost in the Shell, Big O, those are still really good. But it's, like, not when you're showing it for, like, the 15th, 20th rerun in a row. Get some new animes that have come out recently. Maybe even the ones that didn't even come out recently because they missed out on quite a few. I mean, I'm surprised Soul Eater wasn't snatched up by them. That's actually enough. They could have taken that. But that's basically what I'm saying. All in all, Adult Swim is kind of like Cartoon Network in the sense that nothing has really changed and it's not good. And if they want more views, then they, they seriously need to like... Like, they need to step up their game and get some new shows on here, get some new anime on there. That's actually, that's not to say better, but just newer. We just, we need a new change. And with Bleach moving at its ridiculously slow pace with all their stupid fillers and whatnot, with this, this Zanpak Toe filler arc, which is, like, brutal in the sense that they cut it off so horribly when a fight between Ichigo and Ukiyota were going to start. And it's like, yeah, we're going to start a filler arc. It's like, why don't they just skip the filler arcs and just finish it up as fast as they can just so people can get on with their life? Sorry. Animes that are going on for 200 episodes, it's like, you lose some characters. You lose count of what's going on. It's kind of hard to watch the old Bleach promos, watching the first promo, my name's Ichigo Kurosaki, I'm 15 years old. It's kind of hard to watch that knowing that this is the same anime because they just sort of, they lost that first episode-esque to it that made it awesome. Because it's just, it's become just old. But I've hit five minutes, which is not good. 
And I uh, hope everyone has a nice night or morning if you're watching from around the world. And uh, don't forget to set your clocks. Yay. Yeah. So this is Rainbow signing off. Peace.